Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to KT Garage. This is part four of the Mustang restoration project. I'm really determined to get this painting job done this weekend. The, the past couple of weekends, I thought I, I can get the whole thing done, but I ended up spending a lot more time than what I thought I would. But it's okay, it's a project like this, you're gonna need to take your time and get it done right. So today's plan is to block sand the entire car down. It had a base coat on it already block sanding it, scuff it down real good, get the surface to look perfect and then we're gonna throw a base, we're gonna throw the clear coat on it, the base already on. So uh, hopefully I can get the, the entire job done today. After the clear coat is done, we'll see how good it looks and then we, we, we can think about whether to, to polish it or just leave it the way it is. We'll let you know how it turns out. So first thing first, I'm gonna scuff the whole car down with this scuffing pad. And it's really a good idea to, to just to run through the entire surface with this. This is gonna remove anything like a little piece of dust and things like that that lands on top of your surface. You scuff this down, all of that is gone. But the biggest stuff, things that you really need to be removed, I have different grade of, of sandpaper. So this is 600 grit right here. Uh, this is 320. This is what I use for the primer. I'm gonna use a 600 to start with. To, to get rid of all the high surfaces. And then I have a thousand uh, here that I uh, that I can use for finishing up. So by the time I'm done with all these steps, the base coat should should be completely smooth. There's no high and no, no lows area. I'm gonna look all over the car. And then at that point, I can go ahead and shoot the clear coat. I'm getting ready to spray the clear coat on. But before that, I wanna go over a couple of things with you guys. Let's talk about the paint gun. So for epoxy primer, for high build primer, and even for the base coat, you can use a normal spray gun, something that can spray, uh, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect because you, you're gonna be, you know, sanding all those things down anyway. So uh, as long as it can spray, it's fine. But the clear coat is very important. You gotta use the correct gun and you're gonna use a gun that you, you're only gonna use for, for the clear coat and then just clean it up and put it away for the next job. So I have another one that I use for that, but I want to try a new gun that has really good review. This is the Black Widow 2 HTE. So we want to get one of these, make sure you get the HTE version. This is, there's tons of reviews online. You can take a look. Everybody loves this gun. This is $179 from Harbor Freight. And this is the equivalent of four or $500 gun that, uh, that you can get from, from other, other manufacturers. They automize really well. Great review, so I'm gonna use this and uh, I'll let you guys know. Oh, oh, you can see the quality of the paint and you can tell me whether this is a good gun or not. Uh, this is brand new. Now, this gun is used with a disposable system that that you can get, just buy one of these kit from Harbor Freight, the Spectrum kit for this gun. And uh, it, it comes with a mixing cup and a, and a disposable uh, liner that you put on the inside. And then there's a lid, and then this thing that kind of bolted it down. When you're done with it, you flip it upside down, and then you just like push it in to the top of this, and you paint it. When you're done, get rid of the liner, get another liner, and you don't have to clean anything, which is really nice. And this is extremely easy to clean. You just take the cap off, and you spray the top and into it, and you're done. So cleaning this gun is, a, is a really a piece of cake. So I'm gonna go, go ahead and throw the coats on and we'll see how it looks.
So the clear coat was done yesterday. I waited overnight. So this morning I'm gonna start doing the wet sanding. So I'm definitely gonna have to wet sand the entire car. Painting out in the open, it's kind of risky because you know you could get like dust and, and things on it. So you're gonna have to wet sand and polish it to make it look real nice. So you can see that a lot of dust land. I bet you these can be wiped off. Yes, yeah, so, so these are after dry, but you can see like there's still little things here and there. You can wet sand it and polish it and it's never, you, you're never gonna see it. It's like it's never there. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that today, but the painting, painting turns out really good. You can see that the, uh, the, the gun I used was great. By the way, that, uh, that Black Widow is, is a great gun to use, guys. Highly recommend it. It automized really well. You see the, the spraying is very easy. There we go. Yeah, the thing with, with the uh, black color is that everything's gonna show. So I'm gonna have to be real careful with um, wet sanding it down to a, a good surface and then polishing it. So I'm gonna go ahead and start wet, wet sanding. Okay, so I'm gonna start out with 1000 grid size. And then I'm gonna start going up to 1500, 2000, maybe 2500. So we'll start out with this. This will take care of all the big stuff. And just make sure you don't scuff too much or don't sand too much because it's, it's gonna, you're gonna sand down to the base and then you're in trouble, right? You, you gotta shoot it all over again. So. Uh, let's let's get it started. Okay, so I got all my wet sanding done. Started out with a thousand grit, and I went up to fifteen hundred, two thousand, and then the final one is uh, twenty five hundred. So I, I figured that should be good. It took me all day to sand down, but. You know that's a step that you really don't want to screw it up so you can see that it's it's kind of dull but everything is sanded down uh, most of the high uh, points are gone there's some little bit of low points that's okay we can polish it all up looks like there we go so talk about the polishing compound a little bit so what I have here is three grades of polishing finish and you really need to have all three in order to get the really nice finish you, you want to start out with the heavy-duty one first and you can get this brand or you can get 3m or some other brand this is the least expensive one that I can find from the automotive store but you can go and get a, the fancy one for more expensive I think it does the same thing so uh, heavy duty rubbing. So I start out with this one and this foam pads, it comes in different color. And uh, I looked, at, looked up the color code and it's, it's very confusing. Like I look online and, and one website will tell you a color for, uh, for heavy duty versus the, the, the polishing and ultra fine. Uh, and and so, some of them are just like backwards. So I really don't know which color goes where, but what I can tell you is you can see with your eyes that some of these are rougher looking than others. So I'm, I'm gonna go with my instinct and I'm gonna go with the finest one. The white one seem to be like very fine as far as the foam goes. So I think this should be ultra fine. And then the, the blue one is actually the roughest one, so I'm gonna go go for heavy duty, and then these two look similar. So I'm gonna do uh, this is the middle. So let, let's try that and, and see how it goes. Now, if you look on online, some of them actually say the blue one should be for for the uh, for the uh, ultra fine. So I really don't know. So let's let's do that. So you want to go through? So I'm gonna group them like this. So it's gonna go. This is gonna go with the heavy duty. These two is gonna go with the, the mid-grade and then the polishing one, I'm gonna do this one with 
put the uh, I get this backwards now. Okay, so that's ultra. So this goes here. And then the white one go with the ultra polish. So this is the last one I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna do this three different times. So for a polisher, you wanna make sure that you use the, the right one. You gotta go get one of these. And I, I went with the wall because I want something reliable. I'm gonna do this quite a bit. Uh, but you can buy, find some other brand that less expensive. But you gotta have one of these. Don't use your Alpito sander for polishing. That says removing too much material and uh, it's gonna cut too much and you're gonna end up with, with some spot that completely removed the clear coat. So make sure you use one of these. And the best RPM is 1500 to 2000 RPM. Don't go too fast because you're actually gonna burn the paint. Well, this is the initial polished compound. You already can see the night and day different from that and, and the non-polished section. Looking really good. I mean, you can really see the, the re reflection on the paint. Takes me a good hour to get to this stage, so pretty hot out there with the sun so I'm gonna I'm gonna drive the car in the garage it's kind of messy to do it inside but I really don't want to do it in the sun I probably can back it up but man it's getting really hot out here so get it inside we'll finish it up Well, it's late on Sunday, so I'm just going to give you guys an update of where I'm at and then what needs to be finished by uh, next weekend. So as you can see, the finish looks great. I have two out of three coats of polish on the car already. So, and I, I cleaned it all up to make sure that the polish is uh, off on the car. There we are. And then, um, let me see, so this side also got two out of three coats, looking really good. Now back here, I already started with the, with the coat coat, which is the, the fine finish. You can see, it, it looks just awesome. It's, uh, it's like a mirror. This got the coat coat right here, you can see it's like a mirror finish. I can see just a little bit of orange peel, not too much, uh, and just like little places here and there. Like I said, this is a driver quality, so this is beyond driver quality. So from this door back, it's, it's all finished. So I don't have to wait until next weekend to get to get it all done. It's, it's uh, past eight o'clock Sunday and I'm pretty beat. I'm just gonna leave everything the way it is. Guys, polishing the, these uh, paint, uh, there's a lot of dust coming up, so make sure you cover your stuff. So I covered my Hellcat engine setup so it doesn't get the uh, dust over it. So this is my next project, is the, uh, the Hellcat setup that uh, I'm gonna be doing for the 73 Challenger that's in the back of my garage. But I really wanna get this Fox body done. Here we go guys, it's looking awesome. Well guys, I'm putting up the white flag. I officially give up, it's not, almost nine o'clock on a Sunday afternoon. It's time to get some rest. We'll finish it up next week, but I'm, I'm really happy with, with the result. Paint looks really awesome. Can't wait to see it on, on the tow coat, all over the car. Then after that, I'm just start reassembling everything. And this project is just about done. I really appreciate you guys tuning in to KT Garage. Make sure you catch next week episode where I'm gonna show you the, the, the finished paint job and then possibly I'm gonna reassemble some, some of the features. 
Until then, I appreciate you tuning into KT Garage. Thank you.